Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a skincare routine for you guys. So this is gonna be how I remove my makeup and also how I take care of my skin basically. So if you'd like to see what products I use, then please keep watching. It's not sponsored um, and I will leave a link to every single product in my description down below. So the first step that I like to do is use a micellar water. This is the Kiehl's one. It's also a travel size bottle. Um, this is the herbal infused micellar cleansing water. So I like to use Use this one just to take off my lipstick or lip gloss and my eye makeup because I need to be very careful around my eyes because I have eyelash extensions so this is the first thing I'm going to use. I like to take my uh, reusable cotton pads which I'll have a link down in the description for as well and basically just put on enough that it will take off any eye makeup and any of my lip gloss that I've got on today. The next product I use is the Dermalogica Pre-Cleanse. When I was doing beauty therapy, I actually trained in Dermalogica products. So I've been using this since I was 18, 19. So that's about six years now. This is the best stuff to take off your makeup. I've tried different cleansing balms and um, just lots of different micellar waters, but this one I find gets every single bit of makeup off. For this part, I'm going to put on my headband, which actually was a gift from Dermalogica, speaking of the brand. <laughs> um, so just to make sure it doesn't actually get into my hair or anything. Now you wanna use this on dry hands. My hands are clean and I'm literally just going to put about one and a half pumps onto my hand and then shove it all over my face basically. This stuff smells so good as well, oh my goodness. It just literally melts your makeup off. I'm pretty sure, my skin isn't oily, but I'm pretty sure that you can actually use this as well if you have oily skin. Um, is I think it's great for all skin types, but um, I can't actually fully remember, but I think, I think it is. And I get into these eyebrows. I need to avoid my eyelash extensions because the oil will um, kind of weaken the glue. Okay, to take this off, I'm gonna be using a white flannel. I'm going to uh, dip it in my bowl of water. Usually I'll do this at the sink, and then you just want it to be damp, so. Give me one second. The next step is actually washing the face. Now, you're gonna laugh at me, but this is my face wash. As you can see, it's pretty much fully out. I need to get a new one, but I think I've got enough just to squeeze it in for this one video. Um, then I'll have to definitely go and buy another one because this is literally a game changer. So this is the Pixi Glow Mud Cleanser. This has got the glycolic acid in it that they do. So um, this is 5% glycolic acid, so it'll gently exfoliate as well. So what I like to do with this is I like to actually put it on my face dry first. So this might sound weird, but I actually saw this tip. And if you put your cleanser on to dry skin, I don't know if this is true, like, but tell me what you guys think, but supposedly if you do this, the water that you usually put on your skin, when you do that and then you put your cleanser on, the water is actually kind of putting a bit of a barrier to the products to actually get in right into your skin. Take it round your face and it will feel a bit weird when you first start doing this, but I honestly think it's made a difference. So I've literally just kind of blended it into my face. I'm gonna wet my hands, just wet my hands a little bit. My skin is pretty clear. I have a bit of congestion on this side um, and just the random kind of breakout. So I'm doing everything I can at the moment to try and combat that. I also have kind of dry skin at the moment. So once, twice a week, I like to go in with a mask and I love sheet masks so much. And I've got a couple other masks that are clay masks. So today I decided to go with a sheet mask. So this is from e.l.f. And this is the coconut water infused moisturizing mask. Cause my skin, since it's been getting colder, it has been getting a lot drier. So I'm gonna apply this tonight as a wee treat. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on for 15 minutes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've taken off the sheet mask and sometimes I kind of leave my routine there. If the sheet mask already has serum in it, I would just literally blend this into my face like a wee massage. But today I want to show you what I would use otherwise. So I don't do that every time I have a sheet mask, but if it's the last thing I do before bed, sometimes I will just let it sink in uh, into my skin overnight. So for now though, I'm just gonna just dab off the excess with this towel, just very, very lightly as I do want to keep some of the product going into my skin. And I'm just going to massage it in 
and down my neck as well. Okay, so for a toner, I have been using this face tonic by Australian Body Care. I actually got sent this, and like I said, this isn't a sponsored video. Um, I've worked with them before, and I have just not been able to stop using this. Like, it's so, so good. And especially if you have breakouts as well, it gives such a cooling effect to your skin. Like, your skin feels so nice and cold, and just, you know, when it just feels so refreshed. Well, this makes it feel like that, honestly. Like, I really, really love this. It's just part of my everyday routine. Anyway, enough said about that. Um, this has got tea tree oil in it and it just works a treat on my skin. So another tip that I've heard is to skip the cotton pad when putting on your toner because that absorbs a lot of the toner itself. If you use your hands and pat it in, then it can kind of penetrate the skin deeper. I'm gonna put a little bit of this on my hands and just press it into my skin. And I just find that my toners work better this way. The next product that I use is niacinamide, and this is from The Ordinary. This is really good for um, fighting blemishes as well. So I just put a little bit of this on. My skin has kind of cleared since using this routine, so I don't have as many blemishes at a, as I did before. But like I showed you, I do have some congestion still. So I'm just gonna put a couple of drops of this on my face and pat it in. So the last step is kind of a one or the other kind of situation. So I have two products here. I either finish off my skincare routine at night with the cold pressed borage seed oil from The Ordinary. I find this is really hydrating for my skin and it also has like the ingredient is really good for fighting blemishes as well. So this is great if you've got blemish prone skin. I know a lot of people want to stay away from oils. This one, um, it's been proven that borage seed oil is actually really good for acne and scarring. So I either go in with this one or I go in with this Saint Tropez Everyday Face Cream. Now this kind of gives you a gradual tan over time. At the moment my tan is kind of fading so I quite like to use this to keep it topped up and I find that this moisturizes my skin so, so well. Today I'm gonna go with the Saint Tropez one because I have done a moisturizing mask on my face already so I don't think I really need the borage seed oil to moisturize and I don't have many breakouts at the moment so I think I'm gonna give that one a pass and I'm gonna just put on this moisturizer. Sometimes as well with this moisturizer I put a little dollop of my Saint Tropez um, fake tan and I mix it together just so it gives a little bit of a darker tan with this but it's nice like for an everyday glow. Once my face isn't so wet and sticky I take my headband out and that is literally it for my skincare routine. So as you can see my skin is glowing, it's looking really nice and I just find that this routine works so well for me. If you use any of these products or want to start using any of these products then give me a little comment down below and I'd love to hear what you think about these products too. Thank you so much for watching guys and next video is either going to be a haul or a cozy evening routine. I haven't decided yet so I will see you next week and enjoy the rest of your week my lovelies. Bye!